This is the Steel MSA 120C. It's a battery powered saw with the Lightning product um, line of products from Steel. Uh, pretty powerful chainsaw actually. And today I'm going to show you not only how to sharpen the chainsaw blade, but I'm also going to show you how to check the tension and replace a chainsaw blade if necessary. I'm going to show you two things at this point. I'm going to show you how to check the tension of your chain, and I'm also going to show you how to remove and replace the chain if it comes to time to buy a new chain. So you've been cutting through so much stuff that you just can't sharpen it anymore. This is going to be a really easy way for you to see how you can get that done. First, you see the chainsaw bar, the chain, and the encasement. So this is how you tighten the chain. This is how you loosen this entire cover. Um, so I'll show you how to do that first. If you have a chainsaw and you think that the tension is off, do this. You pull it up and you see that the blades are out of the groove, too loose. You don't want to operate a chainsaw when it's like that. So you're going to need to tighten it down. And um, the best way to do that with this chainsaw is to loosen it. You can also see there's a knob turns for plus, tightens it up. And check this periodically as you're tightening it. As you wiggle it, it should pull up and not be super tight to the bar, but have a little bit of give with while staying in the chain. When you have it, when you have the tension corrected, tighten it back up, snap it down, good to go. Next, I'm gonna show you how to remove whole chain itself. This, you have to take the entire cover off, which is like this. When you use a chainsaw a lot, this is pretty much what happens to the inside. Yes, you can take a, an old toothbrush or something and really tend to try and get out the gunk. Um, this is you not know, really my chainsaw. This is really well used and um, often the reason that we need to sharpen and replace the chainsaw blades. So what we do first here is we would um, Remove this and lift the chainsaw bar and blade right off the body. Looks like that. Slide it off completely. For the sake of demonstrating, I'm going to show you putting the same chainsaw blade right back on. Start at the tip of the bar and guide it right into the groove. You want to make sure that the chain is facing the right direction in case you flipped it over. You want to make sure that these little teeth are pointing forward like they're chomping through the wood because the, the chain is going to rotate this way. So basically do what you just watched me do in reverse. You're going to put the chain on there. You're going to wrap it around and just kind of maneuver it so the chain stays in the bar and back on there and just tighten a little bit as you go make sure that everything's found its place like this side has not Tightened it up. You can check the tension a little bit at this point. Make sure that it's not too far off. Put the case back on the body. And it's as easy as it can be, just screw it down. Before you tighten it all the way, take a moment to check the tension on your chain again. Looks good, see? It's not totally pulling out. You might want to tighten it down just a smidge. Fine tune it a little. That's good. Lock it in position. That's it. At some point, you're really going to need to sharpen your chain. So, what you'll do loosen the cover of the chainsaw, loosen the tension on your blade. 
on your chain. Lock it back down and um, make sure that it's something that you can move easily. This is a steel chainsaw file and it makes it really easy for fine tuning the, um, the chain itself while you're on the go. Ideally, if you're out cutting and you need to stop and sharpen, you can do that. But um, if you're inside and you have a chance to put it in a vise, it would be really good to lock it down so that you really aren't being clumsy with, with it moving around or anything on you. When you start, take a look at the little picture here. This right here, chainsaw bar, body of the chainsaw. Make this pointing in the exact same direction and then pay attention to the way the arrows are. That is gonna direct how this bottom file works. And you're gonna line the bottom files while keeping this totally parallel. You're gonna line the bottom file up here, put it right in the tooth, push it through. Repeat two to three times. You don't need to do any more than that. That's gonna do the job. And ideally, the very first um, tooth that you saw, you should maybe mark with some Sharpie marker or something so that it, you can tell where you started and where you're gonna stop. From here, move on to the next one. And then so, so on and so forth. Once you've gone all the way around back to the original Sharpie mark, note that you're gonna to have to go and do the blades in the opposite direction. Some of them are um, on the left-hand side, some of them are on the right-hand side. And to adjust this, flip the tool over and you'll see the exact same tool pattern. This time, make sure that this tool is completely parallel to the actual tool, the tool um, detail on the um, file. It'll be operating the other bottom file. So you put it in. And pardon me while I switch my angle so I can demonstrate this a little bit more easily. Rotate on to the next. And like I said, it's always a good idea to just use a Sharpie to flag where you started so that when you get around to that blade again, um, you know when to stop. You don't want to continuously go in a circle and over sharpen any of them. A sharp chainsaw blade is going to cut through wood really easily. Um, it's going to produce wood chips that are really coarse. It's going to um, be really effortless to use. And as soon as you start to feel like you're having to work the tool to get it through any logs that you're cutting, or it's producing a sawdust that's more like sand or um, like a powdery sawdust, um, it's really time to take a break and sharpen the tool. If you're looking for a really good chainsaw, I do recommend the Steel MSA 120C. It's a great battery powered chainsaw, part of the Lightning battery line of products from Steel. Really easy to maintain, really lightweight, very easy to use, and um, really a, a kind of a fun tool to have and, and be able to put to work in our yard. Hope you like it.